question is, what are the biggest areas of need for this team? I talked with NFL draft, uh, draft expert ESPN's Matt Miller, who says the Chiefs are in a good spot, but they could definitely add more for their run at a three-peat. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions don't have as many needs as other teams. They don't have to do anything as long as they have Andy and Travis and, and, and Patrick back. I, I think that's the team that you say is a favorite to win the Super Bowl. As long as you have those three, you're in pretty good shape. But they can add depth. Matt Miller believes the Chiefs will be looking at left tackle, cornerback, and wide receiver, especially with the Rushy Rice situation. The Brett and Andy are certainly willing to invest resources in trying to find the right group of players to surround Patrick with. Moving up on day one could be a challenge for Kansas City. Come draft day, Chiefs general manager Brett Veach may have a hard time finding another team to make a deal with. If no one wants to help this team get better. I, and I do think that played out last year. They were very, they were trying to be aggressive to move up in the first round last year. Uh, and it didn't play out because no one wanted to trade with Kansas City. With seven overall picks, Veach has recently put on a masterclass on what to do with picks in the later rounds. Certainly on day three, you know, getting Trey Smith, getting Isaiah Pacheco, Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, so many great players outside of the first round. And to me, that's the hallmark of a good general manager. Could Chiefs go tight end? Travis Kelsey isn't getting any younger, but Miller knows that Kelsey will be a hard one to replace. I wouldn't be shocked if we see this offense evolve again, just like it did post Tyreek Hill. When it's sadly time for post Travis Kelsey, I think we'll see the offense change quite a bit. If the Chiefs go tight end, they could look toward Manhattan, Kansas. Tight end Ben Sinat was a monster for the Wildcats. So 49 receptions, 676 yards, and six touchdowns. He is projected to be a third or fourth round pick in the NFL draft.